All right, for the logistic differential equation, uh, dp over dt equals little k times capital P times 1 minus uh, capital P over capital K, uh, where P sub 0 equals uh, uh, P naught. The uh, solution, P of t, is given by capital K over 1 plus a times e to the little k times t, where a is capital K minus the initial population over the initial population. So we're going to use this exact solution to determine uh, when the population uh, will reach 450. So we're given uh, dp over dt equals 0 0.8 times p times 1 minus p over 400. p sub 0 equals 500. Um, really, a lot of this is just sort of a, um, it's really just more algebraic in nature than anything. So in this case, our little k is going to equal 0 0.8, our capital K it's going to equal, uh, so our capital K is going to be the uh, carrying capacity, which is going to be 400. Let's see, we need our initial population, P sub 0, and that's going to be 500. And now it's just a matter, again, of kind of filling in all these little formulas. So let's see, our A value is going to be capital K, which is 400, minus the initial population divided by the initial population. Well, that's going to be negative 100 over 500, or negative 1 fifth, or negative 0 0.2. Let's see, our population model, P of t, can therefore be described by the carrying capacity, again, which we said was 400, over 1 plus our A value. Again, our A value here was negative 0 0.2. And then we'll take this and multiply by e to the negative little k. So again, our little k value was 0 0.8 uh, times t. So that's now the population model. Okay, we want to know when this population equals 450. So we want to know when p of t equals 450. Well, we'll just take our equation 400 over 1 minus 0 0.2 times e to the negative 0 0.8 times t. And we'll just simply set that equal to 450. And now we have to solve. So I'm going to multiply. I'm going to divide uh, the 450. And then I'm going to multiply by the 1 minus uh, 0 0.2 e to the negative 0 0.8 t. All right, so let's see, 400 over 450, what's that going to give us here? So 400 I sh over 450, um, I'm going to round this off. This is roughly going to be equal to 0.89. So that's 1 minus 0 0.2 e to the negative 0 0.8t. All right, so if we subtract 1, so if we subtract 1, we'll have negative uh, 0.11. That's going to equal negative 0 0.2 times e to the negative 0 0.8 times t. So let's see, if we take uh, our 0.11, our negative 0.11, and divide that by negative uh, 0.2, that's just going to give us 0.55. Let's see. And then we still have our e to the negative 0 0.8 times t. So a couple more steps here. So to get rid of the uh, e, we'll just take the natural logarithm of both sides. So we'll have the natural logarithm of 0.55 equals the natural logarithm of e to the uh, negative 0 0.8 times t. So we've got the natural logarithm of 0.55. And then we'll have uh, be left with negative 0.8t on the right. Then we can divide. So we'll have the natural logarithm of 0.55 over negative 0.8. So let's see. I'm going to approximate uh, the natural logarithm of 0.55. I'm getting roughly negative 0 0.598. Totally just using a few extra decimal places here. So... 0.598 divided by uh, 0 0.8, 
that's going to give us uh, 0 0.7475, or I'm going to say roughly uh, when t equals when t is roughly equal to 0 0.75 is when the uh, population will hit will drop down to 450.